I recently saw a coach post and ask, how can you make a freshman not behave like a freshman? Um, and I think we're, you know, trying to uh, come up with unreasonable expectations. You know, we see, you know, the outlier freshman, you know, whether it's at the high school level or the college level, you know, that amazes everybody, kind of how, you know, uh, Lorenzo Ball is for UCLA or uh, the guard from Kentucky that put up 47 a couple weeks ago. Uh, when we see those players and we're like, well, you know, if they can do it, why can't, you know, everybody do it? Um, but that's an unreasonable expectation. You know, those are the outliers. The vast majority of freshmen are going to behave like freshmen. Um, and that's not a negative. Uh, you know, development takes time and, it, and how much time it takes depends on the individual uh, and the environment to a great extent. Uh, and so rushing that development isn't always... Uh, you know, the best um, course of action. You know, I, I was talking to an NBA guy the other day and he was talking about a certain NBA player um, who he felt if he had been in a different situation, different environment uh, as a rookie, um, would be much further ahead right now than he is um, currently uh, based on, you know, the, the environment uh, that he was in. And part of that was, you know, heightened expectations as a rookie, you know, lack of veteran leadership, lack of, uh, potentially lack of, you know, coaching mentorship or, you know, coaching changes. Um, and so the difference in the environment affected his development compared to a fairly similar player, you know, who has shown incredible development. Um, and so part of that is down to the individual and the individual's, you know, work ethic, their desire, um, their coachability, um, you know, things like that. But some of it is also related to the environment. Uh, and, and, you know, different players are going to develop at different rates. And if we try to rush uh, a freshman just because, you know, there's a need or because we're frustrated because they're making freshman mistakes, um, we may, that may not serve them well going forward you know, part of that process or part of the development process is them making mistakes. Uh, and if a team is so competitive that they can't afford freshman mistakes, well, that's uh, what JV is for potentially, or that's, um, you know, why freshmen don't get a lot of minutes on really competitive teams, uh, you know, unless they're an exceptional or the outlier, um, you know, and so maybe it takes them longer to develop or maybe they need time spent on the JV team to get work through those mistakes and gain some experience and and get accustomed to you know either the high school uh, speed of play or the college speed of play um, and so you know but just because one player is making mistakes or is you know isn't making mistakes or is you know exceptional doesn't mean that's the norm now that we should expect all freshmen to come in you know and play like seniors um, you know different different players are going to develop at different rates different Players need uh, more coaching, some need less coaching, uh, some need positive reinforcement, some need, you know, maybe a little bit, you know, harder coaching or, or uh, you know, a little bit more tough love. Um, and it's independent, uh, individual and situation dependent. Uh, and so part of being a freshman is making those mistakes, learning from those mistakes, and then improving so ultimately... Uh, by the end of the season or, you know, sophomore year, you're a better player. Uh, and, and so the best way, really, for a freshman to overcome or to stop making fresh mistakes is to get that experience. Um, and again, that could be by playing JV or it could be uh, by playing varsity. Um, but uh, too often, the response is, oh, they're making freshman mistakes, so I'm going to bench them. I want them to be on varsity because they're talented, because I know that they can play varsity because I trust my coaching, maybe I don't trust my JV coach, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, I want them to practice with the better players. The better players will push them outside their comfort zone, things of this nature. But then we don't play them or it's, they make one mistake and then we take them quickly out of the game because we can't afford it from a competitive standpoint. And now we're messing with that player's confidence. Um, you know, they're not getting the same type of repetitions, uh, you know, that maybe another player might get in a different environment. Um, so a lot of different variables that affect that. So to, to get a player to work through those mistakes and, and to 
uh, stop making those mistakes. The player needs experience. They need the opportunity to make those mistakes and work through them. They need an opportunity to, you know, make a mistake and stay in the game. Uh, you know, get more repetitions, get more opportunities. Know that the coach has confidence in that player and isn't going to quickly pull them out of the game. And then as they progress, you know, those mistakes will, uh, you know, hopefully get fewer and fewer from game to game. So by the end of the season, that player is up to the speed of the game. They're up to the competitive level and they're prepared for playoff basketball if that's where the team is headed.